I'm breaker number one tonight, which means I'm breaking the sanctuary. <laughs> not gonna work and so he had to slot me in really fast and i was put into purgatory hosts and basically it sounds cool but purgatory hosts is like the only area for actors like doesn't require acting you just read the rules to them um so i was pissed and so i sent like a passive aggressive comment just something very small like so this is basically the like more boring version of what i did with sean and amy and then he moved me to breaker number one so I'm breaker number one tonight, which means I'm breaking sanctuary. I definitely need a new costume. So I'm not a purgatory host anymore, um, but I am breaker one. So I probably still need a different costume thing. I am the vampire queen, apparently. Yeah, I'm breaker number one tonight. I'm going to go in and learn how the hell to do it so I don't make an absolute fool of myself. I'm going to go um, find where the hell sanctuary is and go see if I can identify the rooms I'm breaking. Oh wow, I have not been in a new room in a while. I have to think of how I want to scare. What do I want to change about my scaring? I have a very small amount of experience with church themed scaring because of the one room in Mercy that is chapel themed. This is the atrium. I know no one's in the atrium. And then I'm pretty positive this is Nun Run. There is a person in Nun Run. Definitely not as overwhelming as I assumed it was going to be. Um, probably because I only have four people. Oh, I'm so excited! Turn all these spots all different things. I'm in the first half! I've never been in the first half before! Not counting staging and doorline entertaining, because that's the very front. This is the first time I'm not in Mercy, too. Not including the front. I'm so excited. Oh my gosh, that's going to be so cool. Vampire. <laughs> absolutely, guys. Myself and Peter are absolutely proud of the amount of positive outlooks i think we've held probably the highest numbers eight nines and tens that i've ever seen in any year do you understand what that means you guys have been totally rocking it don't give up on the last three days push through this this is the last friday we are not going to get last back friday last of the year last real friday guys on three hell yeah d-o-g one two three being a breaker in the first half is different than the second half in that we start breaks at 7.50 p.m. instead of 8.30 p.m. since actors start here immediately. That, coupled with only having three people to break, meant I had a lot of time to go in the queue line if I wanted to, but I actually didn't do that at all. Instead, I spent my time talking to the three actors, watching how they worked rooms, filling dead space, and just getting familiar with this new character and area. You are 10 times a stronger actor if you build your character slowly within the areas you're placed in than just running out into a queue line. So all that to say, I never went out into the queue line tonight. I'm Nicole, I'm your breaker. It's yeah. great to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Jonah. It's great to meet you. Okay, so I only have three people I'm breaking tonight. So I'll be roaming around these rooms a lot. So if yeah. you see me, feel free to bounce off me, do whatever you want. I'm an absolute spaz, so I will probably come around like 20 times okay, checking cool. on you guys. Atrium was empty, but I actually decided to start the night out with Max at the back of Nun Run so I could bounce off an actor with more experience here than me.
strong I can use any of his props. My first spot is Sanctuary Host, which is the area right after Purgatory. It's quite large and exposed. The actor's job in here is to pretty much be the first face people see and lead them through into the sanctuary. The jaws of the beast open for you! They wish you hello! Judgment Day is nigh! Go meet them! Go meet them! They brought it. Groups travel through that long corridor from the last spot into the main temple. The temple's fun in that it's also quite large, but there are rising nuns that distract people while you take a secret route to scare them a second time. What's fun about this corner is that people cannot see you. That fake feeling of security because you think you're in an empty hallway coupled with my metal gloves being really loud on the walls led to some of my best scares of the season. The demons need answers! The demons need answers! I also doubled up on running Atrium and Nun Run whenever I was breaking Max, just because I'm crazy. He told us of your coming! Come on! I didn't do that all night, but I did do it a lot because, man, is it effective. Repent! Repent! What's fun is Max also has metal gloves, so what we'd do when he came back is I would follow them into the dark corridor while he hid in the corner, and we'd try to drag our gloves against the wall at the same time to box people in, which was my favorite actor team up of the entire season. Round one done, what am I thinking? Well, I'm having a lot of fun trying out all these new scare styles, but there are also a couple problems. First and the most obvious, most of my areas are too dark for the action cam, so I'll try to keep those clips to a minimum, but also the wall scraping scares are too good to not chuck in this video. Secondly, and more of a problem for me, my cape like, is so hot. I, was, I wear it when I go made back on a straight velvet. Oh my God, he's so Can you do it without it? I like it on. Yeah, the cape is a little bit heavy, which did not help me much when I was running around the rooms like I was, but I decided not to take it off because I liked what it did for the costume, and you know, swinging it around a ton was really fun for me. So I sucked it up and got back in there for round number two. Repentance! You have come to repent, have you not? The monster back During this round, I learned I could squeeze through the side of the big mouth entrance, which really helped out my scares. So welcome you! Listen to the whispers! Listen to them whisper! When you hear them, you'll be set free! Set free! Set free! Show him your praise! Show him! Listen to the whispers! Listen 
to him whisper. literally just stood there and screamed for a good like five seconds. How could I not laugh at that? <laughs> what the hell was that? He oh. seeks your praise. He seeks your prayers. Yeah. Follow him. round it was pretty close to closing so I skipped my break and just decided to speedrun acting in all the rooms one last time. So consider these last clips to be a clusterfuck of the whole of Sanctuary. Come to feed the beast! If you're watching this, you did a great job. A plus, come back next year. Anyways. Hi. All right, so as you can tell, we have 
basically nobody in the haunt right now. Um, if you want to go take a little break, you can. We're probably ending exactly at 12. So right, if you want to go take a break, first. yeah, go ahead. And that's how the night ended. I forgot we were at the very front, so we got off like immediately at 12. I had such a fun time. This season was honestly starting to get a little bit stale for me, but being able to talk to different actors and try out all these new scare tactics really revitalized it. Sanctuary was so much fun to try. And even though that would be my last night as breaker number one, I would not be making a return to Mercy the next night.